great to see people from all over the country, these seven regional hubs being here. The idea was to curate some of the best startups with the best entrepreneurs in regions around the country and then bring them to the best investors in Silicon Valley with the idea of shining a spotlight on the innovation that's happening all around the country and getting more investors focused on these other regions. And we're very grateful uh, for the work of Mary and Google for Entrepreneurs in doing this at Demo Day and also their support of initiatives like a global and startup weekend that, that, that I've been, uh, been involved in. As Mary said, 15 years ago, Google was a startup. It was just an idea. And now 15 years later, it's one of the most uh, influential companies and, and most valuable companies in the world. 250 years ago, America was just a startup. It was just an idea. People floated over on boats thinking there would be a better life, a, a better way. Now, 250 years later, America is the leader of the free world with the leading economy. And this didn't happen by accident. It was the work of entrepreneurs who built the economy that helped build this, 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 this great nation. First, driving the agricultural revolution, then the industrial revolution, more recently, the digital revolution. That really is the story of America. Uh, and that story is sometimes not as well told as it should be. And that story also ties in with the theme of this day, which is the development of this nation by developing entrepreneurial regions all across the country. New York City was known for financial services and media, for example. Pittsburgh was known for, for steel. If you march across the country and look at our great cities and our great regions, they were built based on entrepreneurs building not just companies, but entire industries in those, those regions. Now, as we, we are here today, Silicon Valley is the epicenter of the digital revolution. And the things that are happening in Silicon Valley, as you all know, are awesome. And the level of focus on, on, on investing in Silicon Valley and this broader region is, is terrific and will continue. Silicon Valley will remain our most vibrant entrepreneurial ecosystem, sort of the, the pride of America, the envy of the world. But as Mary said, the story that's not told as well is what's happening in these other regions now, because it has become easier and cheaper to start companies. People are able to start companies wherever they choose to, as opposed to feeling like they have to move to this area or some other area to, to participate in this innovation economy. So that's very exciting, and shining a spotlight on what those what's happening in those regions is a critical way to continue to, to build the momentum and rebuild some of these, these regions. The, Detroit, uh, as, as all of you know, 60 years ago was the epicenter of innovation when the car industry, the, the, the personal transportation, was the technology of the deal. D Detroit was on fire. It was growing like crazy. And, you know, the whole supply chain and libraries were being built and schools were being built and nonprofits were started because of the strength of, of Detroit based on the, the strength of that, that uh, technology at the time. Now Detroit is struggling. Actually, 60 years later, it's lost 60% of its population and recently declared bankruptcy because it kind of lost its entrepreneurial mojo. So we have to recognize these regions can rise, these regions can, can fall. But the good news about Detroit, and you'll hear from the, the people from Detroit uh, soon, is Detroit is fighting its way back. And some of that is what's happening in a stabler car industry, but a lot of that's happening in the downtown area of Detroit based on what's happening uh, with startups. So the best hope for continuing to remain the most innovative entrepreneurial nation in the world is to go all in on entrepreneurs and, and back them, whether it be access to capital, things like the Jobs Act that passed a couple years ago, legalizing uh, crowdfunding, or building up some of the regions that work of Startup America, Google for Entrepreneurs, a lot of the different initiatives that are, that are in place. If we continue to build those regions, we'll continue to build startups in those regions, we'll continue to create our companies in those regions will continue to create jobs in those regions and drive economic growth in those regions and collectively ensure our competitiveness in what is much more of a much more intensely competitive global world. So the things that are happening in these regions are really important. And I'm grateful not just for Google for hosting this and sponsoring this, but shining a spotlight on this. I'm also grateful that the entrepreneurs, some of whom are here because they won in their regions, others were competing in those regions, really taking this opportunity to put their regions on the map and let investors know what's happening in Detroit and Durham and, and Minneapolis and, 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 and so forth. But I'm also grateful that there are, I think, over 60 investors, some of the greatest venture firms in the world that are taking the time to be here today to hear these pitches. And hopefully, all these companies will get funding. And that will send a signal not just to those particular companies, but to those regions that people are paying attention to what's happening regionally in our entrepreneurial economy. And that will result in, in more of a push towards investing. Our focus at Revolution, the firm I founded, I should say David Gold and Clara Seeger are, are with me from, uh, from Revolution, is to invest 
in what we call the rise of the reps. 80% of our capital will be invested outside of Silicon Valley. It's not because we don't love Silicon Valley, it's because we also love all these other regions and all these other entrepreneurs. And my bet is 10 years from now, every major venture firm will have a regional strategy, recognizing that there will always be great companies in their backyard, but there are also going to be great companies starting all over the country and indeed all over the world. So what's happening today is really important. The, the, the meat of it is the entrepreneurs pitching, and now I'll turn it back to Mary and we'll get the, 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 the battle started. But thanks for being here.